just finished filming his death, the death of a character. So it was uh, it was pretty heavy, but pretty uh, pretty noble. I'm actually really uh, I'm really proud of this character. I'm really proud of the, the work I got to do. Uh, very honored to be you know involved with the show. You know what's great is that he we're losing him and he's he's going out with you know as a hero he's he's uh, sacrificing his life to save me and to save everyone this episode is called i do over it's the uh, wedding episode of allison and nathan stuck there's a break in the time space continuum and if it's uh, if it's not corrected the universe will implode keep pushing buttons Fargo. sequence commencing in 20 seconds In 10 seconds. I'll see you around, Jack. I think it's going to be a good thing for the show. You know, it's um, the show's changed so much from the beginning to now, and by losing a character like this, it creates this huge opening to bring in a lot of really interesting guest stars and uh, you know, new series regulars possibly. It's going to be a different show. You know, with 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 uh, we have Frances Fisher coming, and has already been here for four episodes, and she plays the fixer, sort of an, a Nathan type character. And she's been uh, she's going to continue in that capacity. So that takes some of the the um, burden that Ed had. And then um, Niall is also coming. He he plays um, Joe Lupo's love interest, um, Zane Donovan. So he ca he takes some of it as well. And uh, although you know it's a hole we can't fill. Who are we kidding? It's Ed. I'm thinking they're going to have to bring somebody else in there to sort of you know, shake it up or, you know, cause more problems. It's way too easy for me and Carter to get together now. Yeah, well, we're in love with the same woman, but he got her, you know. Uh, how, what do you, you got to give that up. You, you know, the guy who wins the race wins the race. So you thought they'd come here and doing that? Right before the wedding, that that's a good idea. No. My sister did. I think that Carter and Allison are meant to be together, which is why I made sure Nathan Stark fought so hard for her and did his best to riddle Carter. Everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. That's right. He dies. So we'll see what happens in the future. My fondest memory of Ed. Let's see. Well, first when they cast him, I was like, I, you know, they're like, oh, Edgar cast. I was like, oh, the Eddie Rabbit looking guy with the, the Greg Evigan sort of freakish beard guy. It's been great to have him here, and it's, it's you know, he's going off to do some fantastic stuff. So, you know, we wish him great greatness over there. And he's a guy I'm going to know for the rest of my life. So, um, sad to see him go, but really glad to see a friend, you know, take off to such great things. He's the loudest guy on the set. <laughs> he comes in every morning at 6 in the morning going, party people! And you're like, oh my god, it's way too early for that. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> but really a nice guy, and you know, it's, it's always hard to see people leave when they've been here a while. So yeah, we're going to miss him. Colin's generosity and intelligence and, and comedic timing really allowed me to flourish. Um, it, it really played to my strengths, and that was phenomenal. And and Sally is just such a, a giving, sweet, you know, individual and actress, and also very tough. You know, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman, but she can stand and take it. So it allowed uh, um, it allowed for a lot of play, especially between the three of us. Look at me. I'm gonna melt. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Watch this. Woohoo! That was her. He's gone. So, and, and that's great. It's great. It's great that they have the boldness to do it, and it's it's. Um, it sort of shows that the, the, the show, you never know what's coming. I think that's one of the attractions of the show. So I think in Ed's, just, in Ed's vacating the show, it sort of demonstrates what the show is. I hope that the show is incredibly successful, and the only reason they would need me back is because it would be fun or fun for the fans. And I hope that I have a lot of things to keep me busy, and the only reason I'd want to come back was because it'd be really fun. I think it, as, I think as long as it's a great pot, you can never say that. It's science fiction. You can never say never. Mm -hmm.